So let's write the formula for AlC2H3O2,3. You could also write this like this here. Instead of having your acetate ion written this way, you'll sometimes see it written this way. They're the same thing. So let's use the one on the top in this video. So first off, we have aluminum, that's a metal, and then the acetate ion, C2H3O2. These are all nonmetals. A metal and this polyatomic ion, group of nonmetals, this is an ionic compound. So we first name Al as we find it on the periodic table, and that's just aluminum. Then we'll name the polyatomic ion, this C2H3O2. This is called the acetate ion, lowercase a. And you've either memorized that, or if you're allowed, you look it up on a table of polyatomic ions. And again, sometimes this will be CH3COO, another way to write the acetate ion. So the name for AlC2H3O2 3 is aluminum acetate. If you are given the name aluminum acetate and asked to write the formula, you need to recognize that you have the acetate ion and that that's this right here. And it has a one minus ionic charge. Since aluminum is three plus, we're going to need to have three acetate ions to balance the charge. That's why we have aluminum with the three acetates here. This is Dr. B with the name for AlC2H3O23 or you could also have it written as ALCH3COO3, aluminum acetate. Thanks for watching.